about five months ago, the Lord started talking to me, clean the house, comb everywhere. The Lord was, each time I woke up, I will talk with mama, we will pray, I will share the revelation God gave me. The Lord said, change this, do this, do that. So we, we cleaned the whole house, clean workers out of the system, and we brought in new workers. Some things are happening that are very sensitive. Don't worry, don't be under tension. It's just, um, we're just going to do a thanksgiving, that's all. Eh? Some people from the other world, they got to talk with one of the workers that was newly employed. I will, read, I will read some, few of them, then I will skip to where it is important, then I will tell you what it means if, and then we are going to pray. Now, this person used an account that you cannot trace. Um, it's normal, but you see, it's not about um, the discussion. It's about the main message. So, it says to you, it says to this person that was newly employed, good evening, sir. I'm working in Champions Royal Assembly. May I know who is speaking? This person is talking to a worker he, that was newly employed in the church. And then this worker that is newly employed is answering this person back. He said, no, it, please just know it doesn't matter because you won't know me. So, how much is your salary there? Then, he said, excuse me, please. I don't know you, so stop asking me personal question, okay? Then, he said, look, boy, I've seen you in the church before, but we never spoke, and I haven't, and I haven't, you haven't seen me, that's what you mean. So listening to this, I have to tell you. And then you say, okay, I'm getting you. I have a job for you that will pay you more than what Joshua Gila will pay you in that media department. Please calm down. Then, first of all, watch how you speak to me because I'm old enough to be your father and listening to me. I have been in that ministry longer than you have. You have not, you are, you are, you are not even a month old, so I guess they haven't paid you yet. And with the work you are doing, they, they may pay you nothing more than 50k or 40k. Am I right? I don't know and I don't care. I will be okay with whatever I see. You know that's a lie. Let's stop there. Do you think Joshua Aguilar will send you to school? Better stop deceiving yourself and face reality. See, young man, I know your situation. I know your background. And believe me, this offer will change your life. I know you need money, right? For yourself and your family, right? Now, listen, this job is one-time life changer. When you do the job well, my boss will sponsor your stay in any country of your choice. And she will put you on salary. Just imagine. And the first payment for getting the job done is three million naira paid to you to your bank account. So just think about it and give me a response. I'm still waiting for your response. See, sir, I'm not a drug dealer. I cannot sell my soul to the devil for money. I don't know how to steal woman parts. If you are trying to make me lose my job, then your plan fail. Woefully. Now, because I don't know where or who or which job in this country offers such amount of money for anything, if not illegal stuffs. And I am still and I still don't get why you think I'm the person qualified for the so-called job you are offering? No, 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 no. You are very much qualified for this. And the job is not an illegal job. It is very simple, to, simple tax. My boss wants you to do. 
and listing. Do not disclose this to anyone. If, if not, you might just end up losing your job. Go ahead. Have you ever had a meeting with, Josh, with Papa Joshua Igila? Yes, of course. And how is that any of your business? My boss is paying you my boss is paying you to be witness to an incident about to happen in Champions Royal Assembly. Hear this. My boss is paying someone from the church to make a video confession about Joshua Aguila and you will be paid to be the witness to the person making the video. That is how far I can tell you because I need to trust you first. Hold on. So, among all thousands of people that come to the church, um, push it up, your boss um, could not find anyone to do this job for her. It is me she could think of. Is there a reason for that? Yes, sure. Firstly, everyone will believe you as you witness because you are a young and you are young and Joshua Aguila won't suspect you to do such thing because you are now new to the ministry and you also work in the sensitive department where you come to his church every day. But I'm not the only one in that department and I'm not the only person who just came new to the ministry. So why did you guys have to choose me particularly? Listing, boy. We have people in there, okay? They are watching everyone, every and every move in that place. I consulted some security operatives in the church, and they counseled me, no, let the young man play along, because they have not really disclosed exactly what they want to do. They are just talking on the surface. So we now told him, now you have copied me everything, and we, we were there and then we were giving the young man what to say and how to say it. Okay, I have made up my decision. Now I realize really I need the money. I'm ready. I'm already fed up with the church too. I can't be here working every day in this church and end up getting maybe 40, 50,000 when I can, I can make 3 million or more for doing just one thing and traveling to any country of my choice. See, I'm ready. I will do anything, sir. Hi. Then he came around. Hi. I saw your message. I was busy. We want to know the main reason for all this um, play along is to know exactly the job. And it is even the reason of the reason why they want to do this, that is why I'm reading the host. I don't want to say the story so that you don't say, ah, no, there are people who say a man of God is trying to make up a story. So that's why I'm taking you to see everything. And the fake account, we show you, you, you saw the fake account that they used and the name. It book has something. Okay. Okay. Do you, don't worry about anything because we have taken care of the difficult part of the job. So that is to show you that they are not just starting. They have been, they have done the other part. So they just needed somebody to finish the conclusion. And I will, and I will explain why they needed this young boy. Okay, but you can, but you can, you, you can, you like to explain, you what will happen first before telling me what I will do? All right, so in less than one month, Joshua Aguila will be arrested for murder and his ministry will be closed. So you are sure you still want to have a hand in this. Can you push it up? We are kidnapping two kids and getting them buried behind the bush in his church. And in a week later, after the parents of the kids have reported that the kids are missing, a lady will be killed too. And a friend will be paid to tell the police the last place where, push it, 
A friend will be killed to tell the police the last place where she went to was Champion Royal Assembly. In two days later, another lady will be paid to post a video on social media about her encounter with Joshua Igela, threatening her to keep a secret. If not, he will kill her. Then, another week after the incident, the lady in the video will be killed. And that will draw attention of the police to the church. And the police will secretly try to find a weakness from inside the church. That's where you come in. And you will say this. Push it. You have seen those missing children severally in the church since you came. Then you will lead them to where the kids were buried behind the bush in the church area. That's all. It go, he goes to prison for murder and kidnap and you go home with seven million naira in your bank account. What do you think? Are you still interested? Push it. We are kidnapping. Okay, stop there. We are kidnapping two kids, getting them buried behind the bush in his church. And in a week later, after the parents of the kids have reported the missing kids, a lady will be killed too, and a friend will be paid to tell the police the last place she went to was Champion Royal Assembly. And two days later, another lady will be paid to post a video on social media about her encounter with Joshua Aguila, threatening her to keep a secret. If not, that if, if not, he will kill her. Then another week after that, the incident, the lady in the video will be killed. And that will draw attention of the police to the church. And the police will secretly try to find a witness from inside the church. That is where you come in and you will say, push it now. You have seen those missing children severally in the church since you came. Then you will lead them to where the kids were buried, behind the bush in the church area. And that is all. He goes to prison for murder and kidnap. And you go home with your 7 million naira in your bank account. And what do you think? Are you still interested? Um, Destiny, come. This is the young man. Just give us a few cap. Just little and then. Praise the Lord. On um, Thursday evening by 6 o'clock in the evening, after I left uh, the media room, I saw the first message from the unknown person. And at first I wasn't sure because I don't normally reply messages from people I don't know. So I saw his first child. I wasn't sure if I knew the guy because the name wasn't familiar. So I didn't reply. But then as after I saw he kept persisting on sending me the message so i then thought of replying and then all this came up so after all the conversation i wanted to tell papa but i was scared first i was like what if i tell him now and he doesn't understand me and i end up losing my job so another i was i was thinking no i won't tell him this because i'm scared i'm not sure who is trying to do this i don't know where the person is heading to so I then thought of, what if I don't show him and then the person is trying to set me up and he then later on sent Papa the screenshots, telling Papa it was me. Then that would also be another wrong information. So I better approach Papa first. So I sent Papa a message on WhatsApp. I wasn't even sure if he would reply because I don't know how his schedule was. And luckily he got the message and he called me. So that was when I told him everything. The Lord bless you. If they have met you here, they have offered you money, they have lured you, whether you are a small boy or an adult, or you work in the children's on the school or you work anywhere, if you don't come out and talk, I'm telling you by the oil on my head, you will go with them. Now listen to me. I know you know nothing about it. I know you are innocent. But don't be part of an evil to destroy a grace, a gift God has given the world. What is she saying? Let's 
so that we can move forward. My name is Amara Chaliako. Are you a member here? Yes, sir. Which department? Not yet. I want to join protocol. When did you join the church? I've been a member for six years now. Wow. For six years? Yes, sir. Okay. What happened? I was I was going to my speak louder. I went to my friend place in uh, NNPC at Kudbara Road after the after the church on Sunday. So Which Sunday? Last three Sunday. Last three Sunday. Yes, sir. So after the um, I went to buy something at the junction there. On my way coming out, I met this man. He was like Nkechi Ngazi. I turned. I said, Wait, it's not dream. It's physical. Physical. Sir. Not dream. Yes, please. sir. Okay. He was Nkechi Ngazi. I said, he said, champion is, champion is. And I turn, I said, sir, are you talking to me? He said, yes. He said, are you not a champion member? I said, yes. He said, ah, they used to see me in champion. That man, a worker in the church. I said, no. He, I said, sir, what of you? He said, yes, he was a, he's once a worker in the church before. I said, really? He said, okay, that we are my working. I said, I'm not living here. I'm living Do you know that man? If I see him face to face, I know him. Okay, but have you, you have not met him here I've in not, church? I've okay, not met go him ahead. in church before. He said, where am I working? I said, I work in a hotel in Guagualada as a cook. He said, how much are they paying me? I told them they are paying me 30,000 naira. He said, okay, what if he offer me a job that will be paying me 75,000 naira daily? Every day? Yes, sir. Okay. I said, sir, where? He said, here in Champion. He said, what? He said, in Champion here, they do pay the chef here 250,000. But me now, will offer you a job here in Champion. I will be paying 75,000 naira daily. I said, sir, I hope it's not a, a network business because I'm not good at it. I'm not doing network business. He said, no, you'll be a worker in the church. But you, what you will do for me is you will give me your number. There is something particular I want you to do for me. There is something I want you to be checking for me in church. And after the end, I'll pay you. He said, oh, yeah, give me your number. I'll call you later. Just give him my number. And he has not called you? Yes, he has not called me since then. You can, you can, you can. Are you seeing that the story is establishing itself? Are you seeing are you seeing now I, I, are you getting it now are you getting it now are you seeing that that is three weeks ago